Hello, hopefully everybody can hear me. If, this is for you guys that don't know. Uh, I have ashes spread out where they're putting a pipeline. It's my tribal property. So, they decided to take it. I, all I've been fighting for was 50 feet. Move it over 50 feet, leave my loved ones alone. Leave my loved ones alone, that's all I wanted. Leave my tribe's property alone. They refused, so they went through it. Uh, I have veterans out there, World War II vet. My stepfather, my father was in Korea. My brother, retired Air Force. So, I don't know how many of y'all have been hit personally, but it, it really hit me close. On top of that, you get harassed by these people. I mean, they come by daily, running heavy equipment up and down, 60 yards from my back door. I mean, I have a mother with dementia. Uh, it's real personal for me, guys. So I'm glad to see everybody out here fighting it. I really am. I really don't know how, or I really don't know what to say. As you can see, I'm not a public speaker at all. <laughs> just, just no country boy. We got your back. <laughs> so, it, anybody have any questions? I, I normally like to ask because I like to know what y'all are, are interested in. Oh, they ask how did they, how did I find out? Well, they came to me. Uh, Sable Trail did in the beginning and they promised me well, Mr. Coon you live down here in the swampland We're not coming through here at all. We're gonna go up there on the sand hills. No problem uh, So they brought their little survey crews down on my place and up uh, on top of me, you know And the short version is they finally decided to offer me some money. They offered me $1,400 to run through my family's graves you know so that's when I told them get the hell off and don't never come back. But they did. They bought the local sheriffs out with them that time. You know, told me it's a federal fence to fight on my own property. I have a mother with dementia. I drive a school bus. I ask these people, you know, even even our local uh, emergency response. I drive a school bus. Where do we go if we have a leak? And it pretty much circles Bronson, guys. And I care about the kids, and I'm going, okay, where do we go? All I get is crickets. Laura, where are you at? Raise that hand. You heard the same thing before, too, from them. She lives in the same area of Bronson. But guys, keep fighting it here. If you can stop it here, maybe it'll stop out at my place. Thank you so much.